Hello everyone and welcome to another 3D tutorial. My name is Hannah and I'm gonna teach you how to get this result from just a flat file of this bear. So this was completely a flat bear that I turned it into this gingham pattern 3D bear. Um, so to start off we have our bear here. This is the bear that we are gonna work with. Um, now we have to make these lines to shapes because as you can see this is just lines so we select everything and then we go again to pathfinder this is my favorite tool in illustrator and we divide after we divided everything we select on file we ungroup it and we just delete the background now this is not just lines if you look at it under the under a darker background you see that this is shapes so we can now group everything here command G or control G for windows and then we open window 3d and materials now from this window we select inflate we have this inflate here and um, everything here can stay as default rotation and everything and then we go to the lighting and we press diffuse we select diffuse and now we can leave this as white or you can just change the color to whatever you want but it can stay at white um, intensity I think 35 should should stay at 35 35 is okay rotation can stay at 145 um, height 90 is okay and softness 85 I'll make sure this ambient light is on and intensity as 50 the shadow we don't need to turn it on then we go to the material and we scroll down here all materials and graphics part we press gingham print fabric yes this one and we scroll down to main parameters now you can change the patterns color if you want Adam's color can be anything that your heart desires. Um, I'm gonna leave it as a little darker orange and make the repeat a little bit different. Yeah, you can you can make the pattern as small or as big as you want. I'm gonna leave it as 100 because it looks good and then roughness number one can go to 60.64 is okay and then metallic maybe a little bit metallic kind of makes it a little bit more shiny so metallic point something is fine and color number two again you can change also the second color which is this lighter color but I can leave it as is I'm fine with it and we go to the roughness number two the now this is about the color number two um, 84 is fine by me no metallic no shiny and everything here can stay at zero 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 luminosity Luminosity can go to 0.47 is okay. Just this shows how dark or light you want it. And then contrast. A little bit contrast is okay. And U shift zero, it changed the color that I don't like this. 
as you can see I'm good with zero and a little bit more saturation normal intensity Sorry if my computer is a little bit slow, bear with me, you know, the pawn, bear with me, um, but we should be fine. Height range a little bit low, low and height position 0.5 is okay. Now I just want to go back to, um, to the color, sorry, to this color and change it, just something a little bit lighter. something different here um, for the eyes and ears and some parts I want a different pattern you can leave this as is if you want but I want to take it a step further and make some areas different so since everything is is grouped together and we cannot move anything separately I double click on the parts that I want to change so I double click on the the ears these parts the eyes, the nose, and these feet, and we go to this natural cow hide leather. We select that one, and then we go to object inflate. So what I did was that I took the eyes first, and I went to inflate, and I did the leather material now for the airs we go separately and we go to inflate and then for the nose separate as well and the feet inflate that's how it starts working all together now i would like to do also this part separate inflate because it by default takes it to extrude for some reason so you have to go from material you go back to the object and you press inflate and that's, that's how it's gonna work and this part as well okay um now okay let's do this one too this one kind of feels left out now to go back you double click on the background or anywhere and it now it's everything grouped together again now let's um put a little shadow on it so you go you right click on the shape and you find the clips and we do this and one more under the feet and we we select them together and we send them to back after we send them to back I would like to go to effect blur Gaussian blur and we make it blurry like a shadow and then I go to opacity, make it less opacity. And here you go. Let's make this a little bit thinner. Here we go. Here's a 3D gangon pattern bear that we made together. I think it's pretty cute. You can have any kind of shape any animal and do the same effect to it and it will look just as good um i totally fell in love with this that i wanted to share it with you guys i really love that um that you can 
actually they customize the pattern you can make it small or big you can change this color you can change the second color and i just loved everything about it i thought it's so cool that you can do anything all of those customizations and here you go i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i'll see you in the next video bye